Hi everyone, I hope all is well. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today is one of my favorite things to talk about. It's book to movie. One of my favorite things to do is if I have a book that I really, really love and it's made into a movie, it's like the best thing in the world. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Twilight, you know, it, it's just the most fun to see your characters pop on screen and, and find out what the actors and the script uh, changed or didn't change, hopefully didn't change too much because that sometimes can cause trouble, um, or what's new and relevant that they came up with to make it more timely if it's a book that was written a while back. So today, one of my favorite authors, a very good book, and a movie with one of my favorite actors. So today we're going to talk about Netflix movie Brazen, starring Alyssa Milano. Super excited because Brazen, the screenplay, the movie is adapted from a book by Nora Roberts called Brazen Virtue. And this was written, I think back in the late eighties and very good book, it's a murder mystery and what was fun about it is it's been so long ago when it was written so obviously when you're adapting the screenplay for now some things may need to change so it sets around a famous writer grace played by uh, melissa milano and she comes to visit her sister in their hometown now that's the first thing that changed from the book. In the book, she visits her sister in a very old part of DC neighborhood um, where her sister goes, Kathleen, uh, once she divorce, divorces and she moves out of her affluent neighborhood um, and becomes single. So that's the first thing that changed. The other updated version is Kathleen. She was married to a very, very affluent family. Um, married into a very affluent family and had prestige and money and a lifestyle and all that entails. She had a son, um, but her and her husband really didn't get along very well. So things happened, they divorced and she becomes single. She doesn't take her son and she moves into this neighborhood. In the movie, it is their hometown. She goes back to her childhood home and she takes up, she's a teacher, and she is a high school teacher, uh, Shakespeare in English Lit, high school teacher, and she absolutely loves what she's doing, but she's supplementing her income working for Fantasy Inc. Now, in the book version, that was a phone sex operator. Now, it's a more relevant, updated, digital content experience through this Fantasy Inc organization. So Grace comes to town, visits Kathleen. It's a murder mystery, so obviously there's a killer to find. There's things that happen, and it's a really good murder mystery. They follow along the same lines as the book, um, except they, like I said, they updated to make things more relevant. Instead of an old neighborhood, the neighborhood had ties to family. It's where they grew up, it's their childhood home. Um, the police officer is the same. Um, in the book, you see him more lovey-dovey and his emotions on his sleeve as opposed to being a little more strong um, for the movie. And um, Grace, in the book, was a very talented writer, a very famous writer, um, but a little disorganized, a little um, fun and chaotic, uh, but charismatic. And it jumps out on the page when you're reading about someone like that, that's a writer. Uh, Alyssa Milano's portrayal of Grace for the movie, which was absolutely fantastic, it's, it's updated, it's a, a strong version of Grace, all that fun, that charisma, um, that fun, chaotic um, is still there, but you see a very strong, a very educated, um, woman who's vulnerable, but when the vulnerability is 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 required, she doesn't need to be saved, but she needs to have support. As opposed to in the book, Grace is a little bit that fun, chaotic disorganization. You makes her vulnerable, um, 
and a little, uh, just not as put together as Grace is for the movie, which I absolutely love the updated version um, because all of that beautiful vulnerability and that, that um, sensitivity is still there, but you can see that she's very strong and very smart and knows her writing skills and her profiling skills very, very well. And it, it just shows a strong put together woman. And so I absolutely loved the updated version. Um, on, in a book format, Grace works on page because you're reading more about her. And so you see that vulnerability and that sensitivity. Um, and also in the book, you get to see that the differences between Grace and Kathleen. Now Kathleen in the book was portrayed to be a very, um, a woman who was very, much interested in the prestige and the affluent family and all that brought to her in her lifestyle. And then what happens to her when she loses it, loses it all. Um, and she's a, she's a bit stronger or stubborn in the book. Um, but for the movie, what I liked that they did so much is you really see the vulnerability and the desperation um, of Kathleen and why she made the choices she made and what happens because of all that. And um, just a really good adaptation of a very well-written book and a very well-written screenplay for Netflix um, and a, just an updated, fresh version of a really good murder mystery. And if you love Nora Roberts, you're absolutely going to love this updated version. And the one of the, my favorite things that I love, I have to say, um, is in the book, Kathleen is a teacher. She goes back and she becomes a teacher, a high school teacher. But in the book, you don't sense that she really loves her job. She's not really that much of an educator, but she does it because she has to. In the movie, what I absolutely love after so many years in higher education myself is Kathleen is a Shakespearean English lit teacher in high school and she absolutely loves it and she's good at it and she loves education. And so that was a nice highlight to see that was a little bit more relevant for today because education is so important and um, writing and reading is so important and it just really, really hit that home um, and, and really made education uh, important, which it is. It is so much. Um, so that is the Netflix movie Brazen starring Alyssa Milano. And it is adapted from Nora Roberts' Brazen Virtue. This is my very, very old copy. I've had it for a really long time. <laughs> um, so Netflix, again, has done it again for me. I really absolutely love there are so many Nora Roberts books that I wish could be adapted to movies and television series because I think they'd be so much fun to watch. And they're just such, such gorgeous stories. And, and I just love her. So yeah, that's Netflix Brazen adapted from Nora Roberts book, Brazen Virtue. I hope you watch it. I hope you love it. And if you do leave a comment for me, let me know how you liked it. Let me know what you didn't like about it. And let me know if there's anything on Netflix that you want me to review next. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.